Yeah, I mean, exhausting is definitely the word. You know, you never want to start a game out like we did, but, I mean, everybody on the team just fought back. And, uh, I mean, that's just so exciting to be around a group of guys that's going to fight back like that and never give up, um, especially going down 21 two times in the game. That's just exciting to be a part of that and exciting to be a part of a win like this. And um, definitely some stuff we can build on. It's, it's good to get the win. Is that another good thing about this offense? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you guys saw it a couple times. We can we can get going in a hurry and get going downhill. And, you know, we just got to be more consistent, really. I mean, you know, we had obviously didn't start the game out great and then stalled a couple times in there. And But once we got rolling, we were rolling. And uh, it's just so fun to play in an offense like this where you can tempo. And, I mean, you get down 21 twice, and you're thinking, we could put up 21 points in one quarter easy. And uh, so just, just, you know, the play calling and, the guys blocking and catching the balls and running the balls and just all that is just exciting to be a part of. And, um, yeah, being up-tempo like that has definitely worked to our advantage today. Uh, Trevor, I guess the, the, the most unusual thing about this game is that it was 21 nothing in the first quarter. And then it's 20, basically you're down by, you're down by 21 at the end of your third quarter. It's two times it looked like you guys were sunk in this game. Going into the fourth quarter, did you, did you still think you, I mean, obviously you thought you had a chance, but um, was it tougher the second time around to try to come back? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that everybody on the sidelines believed we could come back and win that game. Um, just from everyone's motivation and their attitude on the sidelines, um, you know, coaches were keeping us up, and we know that this offense, we're going to be able to score in a hurry. And coach said we have, you know, three possessions left with about seven minutes left, and I think that instilled a lot of confidence in the guys that, you know, we can come back and win this thing. Adam, of course, to, to be able to come back, the defense has to stop that. Mm -hmm. What do you think watching your guys get going, you want the defense just has to keep going? Um, you know, coach just kept, said, keep, keep our heads up, you know, we got to keep playing, and we need a stop. We didn't have any stops. If we were down 0, and, 0 to 3 with takeaways, and coach kept saying, we need peanuts, we need interception so I mean only thing was in mind was make a play. You gotta make a play, come back. And the defense showed that everybody kept their heads up, faced adversity and you know talking about I mean, the way you were getting create create space to get the play and then one of the tight twenty seven seconds and had to be big momentum going forward and got the crowd back into it. Um <clears throat> well I knew they would come out of the man and my position coach coach Matthew Middleton uh he harped on me by all week by when you one on one, when you one on one. So I had to win. I went out and win one my one on one. You talking about the last play or the whole drive? I mean the whole drive. I mean when you've got receivers out there and you know making plays and Bama running the ball like you know we all kind of huddled up and. I looked in all the old lines eyes and I didn't see any doubt. I didn't see any doubt that we were going to, you know, have a chance to put a drive together. And uh, that's all you can ask for. We had a chance on, you know, fourth down and the old line blocked great. I mean, Sham made a play and, you know, you just, just make a play. You know, you don't want to ever treat that. Obviously, it's fourth down, so you don't want to end the ball at the game in your, or end the game with the ball in your hands. But, uh, you know, you never really want to get too high or too low in any of those situations. And I think that was pretty important today. Yeah, I'm a little sore, but yeah, but you know, whatever it takes to win, I think everybody on this team, you know, would do whatever it takes to win. If that's 36 carries or six, I will do whatever it takes to win. Chris, talk about playing the dome. Obviously, first time here, you know, you know, playing a great student section, great fans, and it just seems like the team's rallying around with the crowd. Yeah, I mean, it was it was fun. It was it was a great experience. Um, you know, the, starting with the coyote walk in the morning. Um, coming into the stadium, all the fans are super excited and it gets pretty loud, you know. Everyone, everyone is kind of telling me, you know, the dome is the dome's a fun place. It gets loud, and you never really know until you get out there. And you know, obviously, maybe the crowd got taken out of it a couple times, but um, then once we started making plays later on and early on, and um, they got back into it, and it was super fun to play there. Great fans. Shamar, what's it feel like for you? It's really the first time you've been a factor in a football game here. What was that like, uh, you know, 
vital card today? Uh, well, it all started in the spring. You know, I kind of got I adjusted to the offense quickly. And <clears throat> I carried it through the summer, fall camp. And now I'm trying to carry it all throughout the season. I certainly feel sorry for the people that left early. Um, you know, and uh, credit to our uh, players. Um, you know, lots of times when they could have hung it up, and instead they chose to hang in there. And, and uh, we made some plays uh, at critical times uh, in the fourth quarter. Uh, got some momentum back, and, and football is a, a game that, you know, has a tremendous momentum game and, and uh, you know, certainly very proud of, uh, of our football team and the way that they hung in there and, and battled back and found a way to, to win against a you know, Weber State team that I think is a pretty good football team, and I think they showed that today. Questions? Quite a debut. I mean, you like this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You know, a couple people asked me if I could, would have ever drawn that up uh, like that. And, um, you know, certainly uh, mistakes we made early are not mistakes that we can make and, and plan on winning many football games. I mean, to give up 21 points and to turn the ball over the way that we did, uh, you know, that, that can't be something that we do. Um, um, you know, and then uh, you talk to the players about the fact we got behind by 21 again, and, you know, you're, you're at the verge there of, you know, probably falling apart. And that's where I think Adams play um, at a critical time there to, to generate a little bit of momentum. And, and then a guy like Austin Simmons comes in on fourth down after Chris had gotten banged around and makes a great throw uh, at a critical time uh, for a touchdown. And, and all of a sudden, we had momentum. And, uh, and then, the, you know, the rest of it was, uh, was a pretty historic comeback, I think, when you, when you think about, um, you know, how, how we did it and, and uh, uh, the way that we won it in overtime. Well, you know, I, I think I think the the thing today um, that he did is he made some throws at critical times, um, which is one of the things that we've got to be able to do. We've got to be able to be a balanced offensive football team, and that will continue to be a point of emphasis for us. Um, you know, we're, we're when you have a running quarterback that's as talented as him, you're going to find ways to run the football. But you know, they started loading up the box to the point where we needed to make some plays on the perimeter and needed to throw the football, and and uh, we did. We made some of those plays in the fourth quarter. You had to be a little concerned. I mean, especially the second time you fell behind 21. I mean, but they just they, they just couldn't quite put the put their you know foot on your neck. Well, and you know, I I. I Flipped over to the channels on the, the headset at that time and told our guys, uh, told our coaches, I said, hey, we've got to keep our composure now um, and keep coaching um, and, uh, you know, put them in positions where they got a chance to be successful. And, you know, you just never know how a game can turn around. And, you know, I've been, been in situations where I've had teams that have had big leads and had to struggle at the end to hang on to them. And, and uh uh, been in a couple situations now over the last couple of years that we've come back from big deficits and and uh, you know if you if you keep working hard and don't give up on them uh, you know teams don't give up either and and that's what our guys showed a lot of character today. I think we've got multiple slot guys. You know, Shamar made some big plays today. Uh, you know, I, I, that slot position has got to be really important for us uh, uh, just because of the – with the spread formation, you're going to get matchups uh, with the slot receiver that sometimes are favorable. And, uh, you know, he got himself open a couple of times today. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, that, that'll – you know we're still a work in progress. Um, you know we made we made some mistakes. Uh, you know with uh, offensively today that uh, that that cost us uh, uh, possessions. And uh, at the same time, I think you got to feel for for what uh, you know a high tempo offense can do. I thought at times we had them worn down, um, and we're able to to capitalize on that and. Uh, and thought our guys showed great conditioning because I, I think there was no question at the end of the game that our guys were in better shape and able to execute at a higher level. Coach, talk about the play of your offensive line, a relatively new lineup set of a couple of players. I mean, just seemed like they stepped up in key places for you. 
Yeah, I mean, when you rush for 350 yards, um, your offensive line uh, uh, played played well. Um, you know, I, I know you know Coach O'Boyle's going to pick them apart. Uh, that's just the kind of guy he is, and and we'll be we'll be a week better next week. Um, you know, we. Uh, um, they're they're a uh, you know their their defensive front and I said this before the game their defensive front seven is very much like a Missouri Valley uh, defensive front seven they're big uh, they're physical they're experienced and um, um, and and so you know we were certainly challenged today and you know Chris made a couple of runs on his own Trevor you know, made yards after contact but that's one of the things that tempo offense allows you to do and and. Uh, um, those guys, you know, those guys are getting better. Bob, the uh, second 21-point lead, mm -hmm. I mean, the first one you could have said was at least a little fluky. Uh, and the second one looked a lot more certain. I mean, they, they went down the field on you twice there. Uh, would that have added to the, maybe the discouragement of the players and the coaches going into the fourth quarter? Yeah, you know, I, I, that's uh, that's the time that I told you. You know, when they they were moving the ball pretty well defensively, we were struggling stopping them, and we got into a real rut there in the third quarter. Uh, some of it was field position related, but we didn't move the ball very well, so we had to play a lot of defense. And uh, um, you know, that's when things are going bad. Is sometimes when you you do your your best coaching, and you also see the best leadership on your football team have to come forward. And, and I was really uh, pleased to, to see that. There wasn't a lot of quit on the sideline. Um, and and it's it's at those times when you need somebody to make a play. And like I say, I think, you know, Adam's play, uh, maybe one of the biggest ones in the game uh, on the interception. And, and you follow that with, uh, you know, that series. You just, you just talk about the things that happened in that little series. We stalled out. You know, Austin Simmons comes in, makes a great play, coming off the bench cold, and and uh, you know, all of a sudden, uh, we had the momentum, even though we were down 14 points uh, at that time, and and uh, defense stops him. We put another one in the end zone and found a way to score there at the end. Then you, you know, you close them to try to field goal on the, the other side, and they miss. You had to be feeling pretty confident with your guy Miles. He's been in those situations before. Yeah. I mean, we got a great kicker. So at that point in time, we were kind of, even though we would have happily scored a touchdown, you know, we uh, on third down we played for, uh, put the ball in a position that Miles likes it for a field goal, and you know, wasn't any doubt when the ball came off his foot. Uh, it's nice to have that that kind of uh, element uh, in your kicking game. Um, you know, when you get into those pressure situations, you you uh, and and our whole team. You know, our, I don't think there was anybody in our team thought that that ball wasn't going to go. Th through the uprights. One or two more for Coach. I realize we're talking about a lot of football games here, but the worst start ever for one of the teams. Uh, yeah, I can't remember a game like that. I mean, it was just so ironic. You know, we were moving the ball so well, and, and uh, you know, just uh, Chris made a bad decision on the screen. Um, it was a screen pass to Trevor, and, you know, the kid makes a great play. and. And you follow that up with uh, with a turnover on the next play that gives them the ball at the six, and and then you know Chris probably trying to do a little too much there on the next possession and fumbles it. Um, um, yeah, I mean I I can't remember I can't remember ever being behind in any game that I've coached being behind 21 points and the offense had run one play. Um, it was uh, it was a crazy start and uh, you know a crazy finish, but. You know, I think what was important for us is is what went on in between, and um, that uh, you know sometimes a win like this can can really help your your program move forward. And we're going to have another really tough opponent uh, next week and tough place to play up at North Dakota. But uh, certainly coming out of this win and with the way that we were able to find a way to win, it's going to give us some momentum going into the week. Yeah, it was a great, great crowd. You know, like I said, the only disappointing thing is some of them gave up on us, you know, and, and left. And, and uh, uh, but, uh, you know, even at the end there, you know, the, the, the crowd that was still there, it, it was it was amazing. The And our players felt it, I'm telling you. Um, that made a big difference there at the end with, uh, you know, with having that crowd uh, behind us in that overtime period. And, 
And like I said, when, when the game went to overtime, there, there was not a soul on our sideline that didn't think that that game was going to end up in the win column for us.